Hello, Fumi Cat here. Welcome to another episode of Banjo Kazooie. Unfortunately, I've had to start again because last time I tried to record this episode, it didn't work. So you may notice that unfortunately I lost a life and Banjo has three lives instead of four, but that's the only difference. We're here in the right place. Um, I've most I've managed to get rid of the FPS counter, so at least there's that. It might occasionally come up with something else until I can figure out how to get rid of it. But okay, what you need for this is puzzle pieces. So I. Need to go up there. <laughs> Imaginative name. I guess he. Uh, spits it out when uh, he needs to use the puzzle for something. I don't know. Something is clearly stuck in there, and that's not good. Okay, I forgot. That's what it does. So yeah, a bit like Spyro the Dragon, you have to go into this new world and uh, correct stuff. The mole doesn't say a lot, fortunately, but there are some new moves that will teach you in new worlds, so you'll have to cope with that. I'm not particularly good at combating this game, I'll warn you now. There will be times when I die. I like the way that the sound is muffled as the music is muffled as it would be if you were uh, underwater. They do move very slowly underwater, unfortunately, and it is quite irritating. Oh, it's probably a good idea not to just stay underwater as little as uh, possible. There are times when you have to, obviously to do things like the thing that I just did, but try not to overdo that. We're gonna go this way first. The, the GPU thing is annoying, but what it is basically is that um, sometimes this goes below uh, 30 FPS. That's uh, frames per second. Oh, 
and it will uh, it will tell you that. I really hate things with uh, multiple uh, thin uh, legs. Um, those of you who've seen my Latin and Zelda, uh, that's why you might be familiar with my dislike for spiders. Um, I I don't like ants that much either. Uh, see. Alright, I'm gonna try if I can now. I don't think I can do it right now. It will be easier to do it later. There is an extra life and possibly other stuff at the top of that tower, but now is not the right time to grab it. So. Ugh. Die, ugly, hideous creature. Oh. Well, it might not be a good idea to go down there, I guess. But, I will go down there eventually. But, if you, uh... If you press upwards on the left joystick, then uh, it lets you do this, and then you can move around using left, right, up, and down. As you can see, there's a there's a something up there, and I'm fairly certain that it's an extra life. Although it is possible that it's just a puzzle piece. As I said, this game's a microphone. It turns out that you can't actually do any of these things until you've talked to him, so... Okay, what you have to do is keep the... Assuming you're using the same controls as me, and assuming you're actually playing this, because if not, this will mean nothing to you, press the RB button and keep it pressed, then uh, move the left trigger around... And uh, as long as you've got the RB button pressed, then he will do this. But he goes quite quickly, so uh, I won't recommend keeping the finger on the RB button uh, longer than you really have to. Yo, I'm here! So as you can see, that's two of them. But we also spotted something, or I also spotted something, back here. Aha! Okay, and we'll be able to use that magic later, but first we need to get five of these. So... Yes. Unfortunately, when I first recorded this episode, I didn't actually manage to work out how to use them because I couldn't find the correct uh, mall uh, hill for that. It's much easier to get all of these once you have that, uh, that trot thing 
that lets you walk up hills. It doesn't let you walk up every hill there is. There are some places that you can't walk up using that, like the... Uh, ant hill uh, with which appears to have an extra life on it, or at least a something on it. Most things you can find. I will hopefully work out how to get with the G uh, CPU thing later. GPU, CPU, I don't know. So, yeah, uh, just these to go now. Now I can keep the camera trained on him. Alright, I am not going for that guy yet, because I am not an idiot. I just want to see what's up here. Okay. Nothing, fair enough. It doesn't actually matter that the FPS counter is uh, not very high right now. Um, okay, that thing. That thing, I haven't quite worked out how to kill it yet. Uh, you can uh, temporarily stun it. But I don't know how to kill it. So I'm just going to avoid it for now until I can work out how to kill the thing. I don't know why these things deserve to die, but they would kill me, so I should kill them first. I'm probably making this look reasonably effortless, but actually the first time I cried it did take me quite a while to work out how to get some of these. Basically, it seems to be a matter of exploring. I really like the sound design for this game. Um, I like the way that everything sort of has its own uh, sound. So, Kazooie moving like that, for example, has its own sound. Different attacks have different sounds. Okay. There's not a lot we can do in this area without having the five skull things. Oh, uh, I might as well show you this. So yeah, you can see the totals that they have here. I don't have any of those feathers yet. I don't know what those feathers are, so... I don't even know where all five of those things are.
time I tackle the, well I suppose it is a boss, in a way, the boss in a way. I just want to do something else first, now I'm going to be a bit sneaky in a way here and use the save, which I know I shouldn't do, but I'm not going to say again the stuff I've already said in previous Let's Plays about saving, judge me if you must. Unfortunately, I don't think there's anything else we can get from there, but never mind. I also like the animation for him swimming. It looks quite realistic to me. Now, walking along this thing is actually quite hard to do. That thing is really annoying if you don't know how to beat it, and I don't know how to beat it. going somewhere else to see. I don't know where the best place to attack it from would be, but it seems like it's probably a good idea to attack it from somewhere high up. Ah, I wonder what that is. Perhaps this is the right place to attack from. Okay, that's good. That did something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, once you find the right way to do it, it's a fairly easy boss. I still lost some bits of lives, but... Now I am not sure how much of that footage I've cut out, but I'm going to end the episode there because I'm not quite sure what to do at this point. I will see you next time.